High topic of today's video is introduction of basis set in functional. Basis set defines the accuracy of your calculations. Basis set and basis function are heart or core of computational chemistry. Functional are basically the integral part of DFT or any other theory which you use. Functional is the representation of a theory, molecular orbitals. We represent our electronic structure with a set of orbitals. Orbitals are molecular as well as atomic. We represent molecular orbitals as a linear combination of basis functions. Basis functions and basis set. The atom-centered functions used to describe the atomic orbitals are known as basis functions and collectively form a basis set. Electron density is large in core orbitals, bonds, lone pairs, etc. Electron density is small far away from nuclei. Some basis set are large and some are small. A basis set is a set of basis functions that are centered on a specific atom. Larger basis sets give a better approximation of the atomic orbitals as they place fewer restrictions on the wave function. Larger basis sets attract a higher computational cost. Basis sets usually include at least one basis function for each type of occupied orbital on the atom. So number of basis set required is equal to the number of occupied orbital. Each contracted Gaussian function represents one atomic orbital. The simplest possible atomic orbital representation is called a minimal basis set. Minimal basis sets contain the minimum number of basis functions to accommodate all of the electrons in the atom. Hydrogen and helium have one orbital which is 1s so a single function is required. For second row 5 functions are required 1 for 1s 1 for 2s 3 for 2p. Third row required 9 functions 1 for each occupied orbital. If you require more accuracy you have to include more functions. Minimal basis sets. The SDO3G basis set is a minimal basis set. Where each atomic orbital is made up of three Gaussians functions. It is a small basis set you can apply on any type of molecule for test calculation. Minimal basis sets are not well suited to model the anisotropic effects of bonding. They don't represent the bond length and bond angle etc. Because the exponents do not vary. The orbitals have a fixed size and therefore cannot expand or contract. We don't use minimal basis set for research purpose, for carbon atom. One contracted Gaussian for the 1s orbital. One contracted Gaussian for the 2s orbital. One contracted Gaussian for the 2p orbital. The 2p contracted Gaussian would be multiplied by a p angular function to give three different basis functions. So total 5 contracted Gaussian form a basis set for carbon, single and multiple zeta basis set. These are also called minimal basis sets. Single zeta basis set include one contracted Gaussian basis function for each occupied type of orbital on the atom. If you double the functions they are known as double zeta basis sets so accuracy increase. In research we use triple zeta basis set. Multiple zeta basis set include multiple contracted Gaussian basis functions for each occupied type of orbital on the atom. With the increase of basis set computational cost also increases. Benefits of multiple zeta basis sets. Each contracted Gaussian function gets a variational coefficient in the definition of molecular orbitals so their shape can be represent better. More coefficients means more variational flexibility to get a lower energy wave function or ground state. More basis functions gives more flexibility in describing bonding. Split valence basis sets model each valence orbitals made by two or more basis functions that have different exponents. They allow for size variations that occur in bonding. For example, if a bonding occur in smaller and bigger orbitals, 
Minimal basis set cannot treat it for such cases we use split functions. Examples include the double split valence basis sets are 321G and 631G and triple split valence basis sets such as 6311G. Polarization functions have higher angular momentum they allow for anisotropic variations that occur in bonding and help model the interelectronic cusp. Examples include 631GD which include D functions on the heavy atoms and 631GDP which include D functions on heavy atoms and P functions on hydrogen atoms. Diffuse basis functions are additional functions with small exponents, and are therefore large they allow for accurate modeling of systems with weakly bound electrons such as anions in excited states a set of diffuse functions usually includes a diffuse s orbital and a set of diffuse p orbitals with the same exponent examples and include 631 plus g which has diffuse functions on the heavy atoms and 631 plus plus g which has diffuse functions on hydrogen atoms as well please subscribe my channel for more video